Okay, assignment time. Now, I want to show you a couple of things before I give you your assignment. One, let's say I want to change something back in Maya. Maybe I want to add, so this decal, or at the top, this geometry decal, shows up on both sides. Well, let me kind of show you how you would do something like that, because I know that the question is going to be asked. I'm just going to mesh combine these, modify center pivot them, control D them to duplicate them. Then I'm going to scale them in negative Z, so negative one. So that flips them around, and then I can put them right at the top again. And then I can add all this back together, this one and this one. And then I can export it right back out. In here, I can right click, oh no, I can just import, get the frame, open it, leave all this alone. Make sure it didn't import two of them. They have to be the same name. See how it says gate frame? This one imported as gate no underscore. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Re-import it in. Gate underscore frame. Okay, again, make sure there's only one. You can see there's been a change on this because there's an asterisk. And in here, now I have the new framed gate. I can build all. And there we go. We have our new static mesh emblem up there. So that's just a way of changing things. You can see that, you know, it's not really, it's the workflow. It's just, you can change a lot of stuff. I can change the doors if I wanted to. That will not affect the animation whatsoever. So there's a lot of room to play. That means I can do my textures later. And that's going to be part of the assignment also. Okay, let me save all. And also save this. Now, by saving all doesn't mean you're saving your package at all. You gotta save that separately. What I want in the very end, if when you when you get done with the texture door, the everything, the importing of the textures on the door. What I really want is your package file, okay? And you can find that by just going over to your package file, right click and go explore, and here's your package file. So I want that. What I would do is when you're ver at the very end, when you're done, you make a new folder on your desktop. Call it whatever unit it is. So in this case, it's unit three. Keep it very nice, neat. 
and paste this in. Okay, there's my package file. Also, I want a copy of your level, so you can go save as for save to save it here, and then save as, and I'm going to save this within my desktop. close that out. So there we go. That's exactly what I want you turning in. Now, again, you know, it's very important within this to know that, you know, this is not a texture class. You should have sufficient ability to texturize this door, no problem. So, that's going to be on you to texturize the door the door and the textures on the walls should match. So whatever you're at stage you're in right now, you have to start thinking about unification of textures. Okay. In other words, if this had a texture on here, I doubt the texture would be a copperish color. Okay, that might look weird. It might have a blue color, that might look good, or a, a light steel color, that might also look good. It might have lights that are kind of emanating the same color lights. You have to think about how this is going to look globally. You don't want a, a red steel door inside this level and it would make it look really bad. Okay, So think about that stuff. Think about color palettes and everything. Everything adds up in the end. And then when you get done, save your package file out to a folder, save your uh, level out to a folder, and then what I want you to do is zip that folder up, and that's what I want. Okay. You also want, might want to play test this a little bit with a bot to find out if the bot can open up the door. I'll give you a hint. There's an area inside the trigger that needs to be attached. I'll leave that to you because it'll, it'll give you a little Easter egg to find. So inside the trigger properties, when you double click on it, oh no, no, actually in Kismet, on the trigger, one of these properties will change in order for the bot to go through. All right, so there's your assignment. Good luck. And until next assignment.